This is Entrepreneurs Get Visible, the podcast for people who want more impact, influence, and income. I'm Anna Parker Naples, and I'll be sharing with you proven methods from leading entrepreneurs that help you get visible as an authority in your field. Because anything's possible when you get visible. I'm well aware that today's episode might be a little bit controversial. And I've thought long and hard about whether I am actually going to share this with you. I'm hearing behind the scenes in my connected way that I work and across many masterminds that I've been part of and years of spending a lot of time building good relationships, often through this podcast, many of the guests that I've had on, some world-class experts at what they do. I am beginning to hear a lot of horror stories about shoddy service. Now, this could be within a coaching program where, or a mastermind where what is sold is not actually what happens. This could be, for example, a service-based delivery where things are not delivered to a standard that is expected for the amount of money that has been that has changed hands. This could be a lack of care in the work that is done for somebody. This could be lack of communication or no communication. This could be general poor delivery. Now I'm hearing more and more people coming to me saying, you won't believe the level of the service that I've had from such and such. And I think that this is important to remember. Yes, we can have T's and C's and we can have, you know, non-disclosure and all sorts of agreements like that. But if you deliver a shoddy service, people talk because when people feel as though they've been undermined, that they have been really let down and then when they express and I think most of us actually in the first instance when we feedback, I'm not happy about this. Most of us, if if at that point something is done to recover the situation, most people are happy. But I'm hearing again and again about service providers who are delivering shoddy goods and shoddy service. And frankly, it's not good enough. So this could be work being done massively late or not done well at all, where you can tell. Actually, I'm going to give you a bit of an example. I'm going to give you uh, it's a non-specific example because I actually, in this episode, I don't want to give away any of the details that have been brought to my attention that any of my friends or peers have struggled with. I've been really, really intentional with that. But for example, somebody who has paid for a branding of, let's use, let's use podcast artwork as an example because that isn't actually something that's come to my attention. Let's use podcast artwork. And they have paid a significant fee for a proper designer, a designer who is being bigged up in the online space for being excellent at what they do as part of their package. And when they get the results back, not only are they late, but they look as though they've been knocked together by a five-year-old in Canva in the space of 10 minutes. Now, Everyone has different concepts of design and what is acceptable. But if you then feed that back that what you've got isn't good enough and what you receive instead of there being sort of due diligence to try and remedy the situation, what you receive instead is a kind of kickback or an attitude that because they're the expert and they're celebrated by other people, that the client shouldn't have the right to complain. I think that's problematic. And I'm also seeing delivery where suddenly someone becomes, and I see this when people join really popular masterminds, suddenly they become the person everybody's talking about. They are the go-to person for that service. And they're on everybody's lips as that recommended person without necessarily them having delivered to the people in the mastermind recommending them. And because they've become that known go-to person in the online space, people trust them. And so we have a few times used people who suddenly they're on everybody's lips, they're in every Facebook group, everybody's talking about them. But the quality of the work is frankly not good enough. It's late, it's not done well, the communication is really poor. Now that for me is really, really difficult. And there's been a few instances where 
you know, someone has recommended somebody to us when we're looking to make a sizable investment. And when I then sort of said, actually, you know, had you actually worked with them when you recommended them? They've, because we've had an issue. We've had a couple of issues. And then it transpires that those issues, that they'd never worked with them. And in fact, the person they'd heard them recommended from had also not worked with them. And so there becomes this sort of difficult area because you can't really go and slate someone publicly for their work. That's not on. But how do we communicate that? Actually, you've got to be really wary. And so what I would say is if you are considering working with somebody and it looks as though it's one of those people who are suddenly everywhere and being recommended by everyone, you do want to go and do some due diligence and actually speak actually speak to people they've recently worked with and not their best friends, not the people they're in those masterminds with, not those people, the people, the smaller people, if you like, the ones who have a slightly bigger presence online, the ones who aren't seen at every social event or business event with the person you're considering working with. Because I am hearing way too many horror stories. And I know I've used podcast artwork as as an example, but this could be anything. This could be social media expertise. This could be copywriting. This could be audio production. This could be book creation. This could be YouTube filming. This It could be anything within the online space, but I'm seeing it and I'm hearing it. I'm hearing the... I'm hearing the whispers and frankly, it makes me really uncomfortable and it makes me wonder... I mean, you can't do this, but how do we make sure? How do you make sure you don't work with someone who is shoddy? And I would also caution you to be really careful about giving testimonials for people, video or written, when the work is less than you expected. Be really careful about that. And if you've given a testimonial for someone earlier on and then their work really is not up to scratch, you can actually request in writing for your testimonial to be removed. I'm sure I'm not the only one. I'd love to hear if this is something you're struggling with right now. Nobody wants to be the person bad-mouthing anybody, but people talk. And if you know that your service or your delivery isn't up to scratch, please use this. Please use this episode as a way to give yourself a kick up the backside and sort it out. We all have problems in our businesses. Sometimes life does go awry, but communication is so important. It is everything in business. Your reputation is everything in your business. And if you're on the outside of that, don't just believe the hype of somebody because suddenly they're the person on everyone's lips. You want actual evidence and proof that people are satisfied with the delivery that they've received. And yeah, reach out to me if this is something that's happened to you. Lots of you have been reaching out to me lately, sending me voice notes on Instagram or on Facebook, and I absolutely love it. So if this is something you're going through, reach out and let me know. I'd love to hear all the gossip, but no names, please. I'm not into that. But I'd love to hear if you're actually going through something because you're not alone. And I do think it's important we start to speak up in a respectful way, not naming names, not shaming people, but with a view to improving delivery and service in the online space. And finally, go check out the podcast sales funnel that I mentioned earlier at www.annapn.co forward slash funnel. That's it from me. Take care. Thank you for listening to Entrepreneurs Get Visible. To get your free checklist on how to raise your profile and to find out about our community, go to annaparkernaples.co.uk forward slash get visible.